The Seattle Mariners need to make a change. Find out more in today's video. So there's been a little bit of discrepancy amongst Mariner fans about a certain positioning in the lineup going into opening day. And that discrepancy is amongst whether Julio Rodriguez should be in the two or three hole going into the season. And before the video starts, I do want to say that a lot of you may disagree with my take on this, but I will back it up with statistics like I usually do and why a certain combination makes the most sense in my mind. And I do want to hear your guys' opinion as well. Let's just start with the obvious. JP Crawford absolutely deserves to be in the leadoff spot. And there's really no disputing that. He has one of the best walk rates in the league and he did have the most walks last season amongst all MLB players. So without a doubt, JP Crawford is your leadoff hitter. There's no if, and, or buts about that. But now let's get into the interesting conversation of whether Julio should be in the three or the two hole. In baseball, it's always been known that your three hole hitter is usually your best hitter in your entire lineup. And when I say best hitter, I mean best overall hitter into the fact he offers high average, high home runs, high RBI counts, all the good stuff. So from what I've seen on Twitter, most of you do believe that Jorge Polanco should be in the three hole and Julio should be in the two hole due to the fact that Julio would obviously get more at bats being in the two hole. But like I said, I'm going to go into some statistics why I personally do not believe that should be the case and that Jorge Polanco should be hitting second and Julio should be hitting third. So let's get into one or more of the obvious statistics and that is just straight walk rate. The past two seasons, Jorge Polanco has had a 14.4% walk rate and in 2023, he had a 10.5% walk rate. And Julio's very short career so far, Julio had a 7 7.1% walk rate in 2022 and only a 6.6% walk rate in 2023. Just for one of the more simple points, the big thing for me is that Jorge Polanco would be getting on base way more than Julio in terms of walking. So being able to have, to have two really high walk percentage guys in the top two in your lineup just allows for Julio to drive in more runs. But like I said, what fun would it be if I didn't dive into more statistics so you guys can see why I believe that this is the best combination possible is having Julio hitting in the three hole. So I'm going to go through Julio and Jorge Polanco's career stats batting in certain aspects of the lineup up, mainly focusing on one through three and one through four, but let's get into them. So let's start with Jorge Polanco, who obviously has a lot more ABs in his career than Julio does. He's been in the league for about 10 years now. Most of Polanco's plate appearances have come hitting in the two hole where he has 1,321 plate appearances and 1,179 ABs, with one of his second highest being in the three hole where he has 776 plate appearances and 695 ABs. Let's dive a little bit further into these statistics and batting in the three hole, Jorge Polanco is a career 252 hitter with 141 strikeouts, 119 RBIs, 39 home runs, and 175 hits. So pretty good numbers overall. 252 isn't his usually his highest batting average, but 252 is still pretty solid while still putting out 39 home runs. Absolutely no complaints from that. But let's dive into more about him hitting in the two hole in his career. So mind you, he has 500 more ABs hitting in the two hole than he does the three hole, and his batting average is significantly significantly higher hitting 284 in the two hole. He's hitting 284 career with 42 home runs and 167 RBIs. And his OPS plus is also higher hitting the two hole. His career is 103 in the three hole and his career in the two hole is 110. So right off the bat, just looking at that, Jorge Polanco is a better career hitter when hitting in the two hole, not the three hole. His on base percentage is higher. His batting average is higher. All of the main key things are higher, except his slugging is a little bit down, but only by 0.06, so nothing too significant. But it is definitely something to keep in mind that most of his career plate appearances have come in the two hole, and he's done very well. So now let's move into Julio Rodriguez's stats hitting in the two and three hole. So hitting in the two hole, Julio has 396 career ABs, where he has 102 hits, 19 home runs, and 56 RBIs, and he's hitting 258. So again, nothing super crazy, just very consistent and kind of just right in the middle of the pack in terms of batting average. But now let's Let's get into the good stuff on why I think Julio should be hitting in the three hole. So in his career so far, Julio has 174 ABs hitting in the three hole where he's hitting 328 with 30 RBIs and nine home runs. Make sure you guys heard me correctly. 328 in 174 ABs. That's absurd. While hitting in the three hole, Julio's average is significantly higher. His OBP is significantly higher and his slugging is significantly higher. And when I say significantly, his slugging is 452 in the two hole and 558 in the three hole. Also including that his OPS plus is a 87 in the two hole and a 126 when hitting in the three hole. So again, this isn't just something that's a very small sample size. Obviously, 
obviously he does have more ABs hitting in the two hole, but this is still a pretty big sample size and he's putting up this good of numbers. And there is one other statistic that I kind of want to talk about. It's nothing too crazy, but it's definitely something interesting. And this is going through the one through three hole in Julio's career. So leading off, Julio has a strikeout percentage of 26.45%. And that's in 431 career ABs leading off or hitting in the one spot. While in the two hole, his strikeout percentage drops to a 26.01%. And then again, when he's in the three hole, it drops even more to a 25.86%. So again, nothing too drastic, but it is dropping the deeper he goes into the lineup. So I mean, to me, these statistics really just show why Polanco should be in the two hole and Julio should be in the three hole. While walk rate is important, and I do think that having JP and Jorge Polanco back to back with the way they can control the zone is super valuable. To me, wouldn't you rather have Julio Rodriguez come up to the plate with one guy on base or two? And that's not to say Jorge Polanco isn't good enough to hit in the three hole. That's not my point. But my point is Julio Rodriguez is the best hitter on the Seattle Mariners, and he should be in your three hole with guys that get on base consistently. So again, please do let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. I know there are going to be a lot of you that may disagree with this, but in my opinion, the stats just back up why people believe that Julio should be in the three hole and Jorge should be in the two hole. But still, again, I do want to know your guys' opinion. So please let me know down in the comments and I hope you guys did enjoy the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.